So uh, here to talk about, well, let me first pop. Because once you pop, you can't stop. So. Ooh. Ooh, dang. Okay, okay, that's that apple pop, huh? All right. Mmm. Wow. Okay, that is a funky, funky ripper. So I've been to several brewery anniversary parties um, over the years, and it's always fun to watch new, uh, younger, up-and-coming breweries uh, kind of pop off. No pun intended, but we're talking about apple pop, pinot pop, and pinot apple pop. But some of my good friends that I've met in the industry uh, over the years and had the pleasure to watch grow and, and watch them, you know, not only at other beer festivals, but at our own beer festival is, you know, our friends uh, Kevin Osborne from Celadorials and Matt Garcia from Homage. You know, they've always been very well liked by our members at our at our festivals and you know I talked to these guys uh, a couple years ago about making beer and time gets away from you but we finally got some stuff in and so you know here today to talk about apple pop pinot pop and of course pinot apple pop three different beers uh, collaborations with both Celador and homage so essentially uh, we brewed this beer apple pop with Kevin from Celador we did pinot pop with Matt from homage and then we have a blend of the two that's both uh, pinot noir grapes uh, apple and honey uh, and that's the one in the bottle so we have a collab here with homage a collab here with Celador and then a homage and Celador and Brewery Teru Club. So today I'm drinking, uh, I'm drinking Pinot Pop. Uh, this is a beer that we actually have recently done as a collaboration with uh, Homage Brewing, and it's a sparkling ale with uh, Pinot Noir grapes. Like I can see just right here, like it has great color. Like it's got this like nice, like kind of dark red color to it. it looks like it's going to be really, really tasty. Right up front on the nose, like I can smell a lot of like it has like a nice kind of wood sour funk on the nose with like a lot of like Pinot Noir grape. Yeah, the nose on it is just absolutely fantastic. Oh, and the taste is even better. It's got this really nice, like, almost like crisp, kind of juicy taste to it. I get a, I get a good amount of, of Pinot Noir. So yeah, it just has this really nice, like high carb, spritzy kind of a taste to it, which is just absolutely lovely. And then the flavors just bounce even more from that. So the kind of the, the hint of the grape and then you get a little bit of this kind of fun Saison funk to it. It kind of balances out really nicely and it's just super crisp and light. This is something that I definitely want to, I want to drink all the time. Uh, my name is Alex Freitas. I am the lead over at Teru. I've been lead at both locations now, but I'm over at Teru. I have been here for just over a year and been pretty new over here at Teru on the sour side of things. Here we got Apple Pop. Then we did a collab with Celador Ales and let's give this a go. Oh yeah, I expected that for sure. Definitely heavily carb, but knew we had that going on for it. Get that bread strain out. It's just so clear is a very nice thing about this one. This one find out very nicely. Yeah, there's just a faint scent of apple. Like the Brett character definitely overpowers the apple scent, but the apple's there in the flavor, that is nice. Very crisp, dry, like a Saison would normally be. And that Brett character is just there on top, like just a little bit. Look at that thing though, it's so clear. I mean, a visual is, like two thirds of the beer in the first place. So essentially, these beers are all concepted to, you know, kind of be what what we as wild beer producers like to drink in the wild beer segment. So that would be, um, you know, lighter ABV, lighter adjuncting, and you know, high carbonation. Essentially, a really a really non-filling, heavy concepted beer. I, I, I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know, what we want is something that that's full of flavor but light in body. It makes you feel light in body when you walk away from drinking it. So we don't want. I didn't want some big heavy beers. So anyway, working with Kevin, working with Matt, um, is something awesome to do. And uh, I think it brings us a little bit closer and it gives us some really fun products to drink this uh, fall season. I know I'm gonna be popping off at my Thanksgiving, my family Thanksgiving this year, both with Pinot and with Apple. What about you?